So take your protein pills, put your helmet on, and prepare to die. <laughs> It does a pretty good job of protecting us from space, which is awfully nice of it because space is trying to kill us, or at least maim us. Here are a few ways how. Extremely low pressure. Space isn't a perfect vacuum, but it's a pretty good approximation, and at low pressures, liquids boil at much lower temperatures than they normally would. So, if you suddenly found yourself in the void of space without a suit, your soft tissues would vaporize and your saliva would boil on your tongue. You'd have less than 90 seconds to get back into a pressurized area before your injuries would be fatal. Some 60% of International Space Station astronauts reported decline in vision clarity. Canadian Bob Thrisk said that after just a few weeks, his close-up vision had changed enough that he needed help focusing onboard cameras. Researchers suspect that microgravity causes optic nerve swelling and eye structure changes, and they warned that the effects could cause permanent eye damage or put astronauts at higher risk of accidents. NASA's looking for a permanent solution, and they've developed adjustable focus glasses to help mitigate the problem in the meanwhile. Your bones are living tissue. Right now, your cells are breaking down old, worn bone material while other cells deposit new minerals along your bone's surface. Both processes are supposed to happen at the same rate. When they don't, your bones weaken, like in osteoporosis. Microgravity can push that balance off kilter. Astronauts can lose some 2% of their total bone mass for every month they spend in microgravity, which really adds up on long trips. It can leave astronauts' bones so weak that they can't walk upon return to Earth. Researchers are tinkering with astronauts' diet, exercise, and hormone levels to help stave off the damage. To duplicate the protection against space radiation that we get on Earth's surface, a spaceship would have to have metal walls three feet thick. Astronauts making the 253-day trip to Mars would be exposed to the equivalent of a whole-body CT scan every five or six days. Unless we figure out some better way to shield interplanetary astronauts, they'd be at risk of dying from radiation sickness or from cancer a few years down the line. That's all the deadly space stuff we have time for today, but to learn more, like how space junk also has it in for us, gravity style, check out our article, 10 Ways Space is Trying to Kill You, on HowStuffWorks.com. And hey, if you liked this video, make it official and subscribe so that you won't miss the next one.